Working with the national government, the problem of congestion in the city, yes. um, because you mentioned about traffic jams, and anybody who comes into Nairobi, the first thing they have to interact with is traffic jams. Working with the national government, what is your plan um, to end the congestion uh, in the city? And as you do that, you can also address the problem of hawkers, particularly in downtown Nairobi. We cannot have a situation where the only public thing about public transport is the passenger. Yeah? We need a proper mass transit public system that incorporates BRT, train, matatos, taxis, etc. That is, you know, a, a, a comprehensive consolidated plan. I've sat down with the French, uh, you know, government uh, recently, and they said, oh, we are supporting this line between the airport and, uh, and the town. And I said, oh, that is nice, but what is the holistic plan? You can't have small bits and fixes that, oh, we now have the expressway, but, you know, what about thicker road? And I've always said the solution to traffic is not building more roads. No. The more roads you build, the more people buy cars. And historically, if you look across the world, that has been the issue. There's a book on a guy called Robert Moses in New York who kept doing roads and expressways. And that's why to date they have problems because he didn't focus on mass transit. One car takes this much space and has one person. Yet at train or a you know, high capacity bus, we'll have so many people in it. I have friends in huge, you know, big capitals who are very rich who don't own a vehicle because there's a reliable, safe, affordable, consistent form of public transit. So we must work on the transit system. The plans were done by JICA. We spent 400 million as Nairobi. The Japanese gave us 300. The government uh, locally gave 100. The plan is there on what we call the loop line for Nairobi, you know, where we have a radial train, we have the huge trunk, which is now what we call, you know, from Thika Road coming across the city and another one on the other side of the city. That you know that if at 7 a.m. from Gong, there's a train that will take me around and I'll go to South Sea, or that will take me to town in seven, by 7.20, whether there's one person or 10 people inside it. Kenyans have done these solutions across the world.